It's one of the most famous cities in America and regularly rates on Travel and Leisure's top cities list. It's got culture, southern hospitality, random Bill Murray sightings, and most importantly, some damn good food. Welcome to Charleston, South Carolina, y'all. Hey, y'all. Welcome. We are in Charleston, South Carolina at the Andrew Pinckney Hotel, which is a super cute boutique hotel. We got one of their junior suites, which is delightful. And we are so excited to be here with y'all and to share with you all that Charleston has to offer. We hit Charleston during oyster season, so our first stop had to take care of this craving. Ask anyone in the city where to go for the best oysters and you'll hear of Leon's Fine Poultry and Oyster Shop. The award-winning establishment has been serving fresh oysters and cheap beer in a fun atmosphere since 2014. It's a can't miss. Should I put anything on it first? <laughs> hey, cheers. Oh, she cheers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you need to make sure she was loose. <laughs> Hold on, we got we to gotta make sure she's loose, like I said. You don't need anything else on there. Oh my gosh. It's always good to wash down your oysters with some local beers. There was no way we were leaving Charleston without trying a good old southern fried chicken biscuit. Our favorite was at the cleverly named Caviar and Bananas. This place had killer coffee and a menu of creative takes on southern cuisines. But the chicken biscuit, well it's pure heaven. We fell in love with the historic Andrew Pinckney Inn, but our favorite was the evening soiree in the solarium. They provided great wine, charcuterie, and there was even entertainment. Well, good morning. If it looks like we just woke up, it's because we just woke up. But the really cool thing about staying at this hotel is that even in the COVID state, they still uh, make sure they feed you breakfast. Last night, we filled out a little card like we were on a cruise ship and they just delivered us breakfast in bed. All local treats, hot breakfast and cold breakfast. I love a hot breakfast. I love a continental breakfast to begin with, but I love a hot continental breakfast. And I got this spinach and feta quiche and it looks and smells so freaking good. Time for a biscuit break. Pugin Sports Biscuits, somehow the first biscuit of our Charleston adventure. So excited. <gasps> Dreams come true. I can't describe to you how much I love a frickin' biscuit. Wow. These look amazing. Here, let's open these little beauts. You know what I love? Whipped Whip butter. butter. <laughs> Whipped butter. <laughs> First Charleston biscuits from Pookins. Cheers. 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 Biscuit cheers. Biscuit cheers. Oh my god, that butter. Oh my god, that biscuit. It is buttery, flaky on the outside. It's almost like that sweet butter so, taste on the inside. Yes. 
is just dense enough on the inside. So it's got a good crumble. I'm happy. <laughs> Did we mention that we get excited for biscuits? Here's the moment we have all been waiting for, we really have, to stop by the world famous Rodney Scott's Barbecue in Charleston, South yeah. Carolina. Oh yes sir. What's the excitement level right now? I would, have, I would put mine at about a nine. Okay. Nine. nine out of what? A five? That's correct. <laughs> yes. On a scale of That's one me. to three, I'm at a nine. <laughs> Accurate. We order way too much food. More than four people could possibly eat. Yeah, no, it's going to be bad. We're going to have gonna a lot of excess. It's a full table. It's going to be so good. <laughs> That is just tender, tender seasoned meat. I don't want to talk to anyone right now. There's love in this dish. So good. <laughs> I think we lost Charlie. It's so good. <laughs> I bet that was sexy. You're welcome. We did it. <laughs> that took what, all of 10 minutes? Okay, Michelle. We did good. 14. Calm down. I mean, it wasn't long. I'm proud of us. Uh, I mean, we're gluttons, but I'm proud of us. No other gluttons I'd rather be out with than my friends. <laughs> If you like a well-made cocktail, then add the gin joint to your list. This is easily one of the best cocktail bars we've been to anywhere in the world, and we agree with their mentality. Proper nights call for proper cocktails. Dear Lord, can we have oysters one more time before we leave? Thank you. Amen. Yes, we excited. So many oysters. Oh, all the oysters. <laughs> This was easily one of our favorite meal experiences, complete with stellar food and a fun, friendly staff. It's wonderful. Slurp it right up. I slurp your oyster. It is crunchy on the outside and sweet on the inside and it's so succulent and I love it. Be warned, Amen's has something called an oyster shooter. You're gonna hate this. Here we go. I don't do well with gelatinous things. <laughs> don't need to do it again. It was great. <laughs> it's very gelatinous. Got a little bit of a I've ever had in my mouth. I got a lot in my mouth. It actually grew in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> well, we have just finished a long weekend in Charleston. 
and I would say that we ate and drank everything in our path. Everything. Any closing thoughts? This was awesome. I'm coming back. Indeed. <laughs> Oysters for days. <laughs> Oysters and biscuits galore. Oh man. And chicken. Enjoyed every second of it. Love this city and look forward to the next time. Bye. 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 <laughs> Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs>